today I'm going to show you guys how to take the ridge out of an area where two drywalls have been joined together. So sometimes when you put new drywall in with an existing drywall, you get sort of like a hump. If you look here, you'll see this ridge and then it indents in, right? So what you're trying to do is take this indentation and pull it out. First thing is you want to find which part of the wall is higher, okay? And then you want to fill in the or bridge the gap between the lower piece of drywall and the higher piece of drywall. So how I do that usually is either with a level or with a longer knife. Now my staff Donna over here <laughs> only has this. However, it'll do the trick. So with your joint, you want to go really wide, okay? Now the reason for that is because you're trying to bridge the gap and feather it out so it's less noticeable both visually and physically. Smooth out that ridge and I just ruined Donna's work underneath, so. Now whenever you pull from an area with already previously dried mud, you don't want to put it back into your tin because now if I mix dry mud with wet mud, it'll start to create little indents and divots and then I can't get a proper clean mud. So I would just take that and throw it out. Okay, so now I'm just going back again to smooth out what I just did. Mm -hmm. Now you can worry about these little ridges now or you can deal with them later. So what I'll do um, with a smaller area like this is I will pull them out now. Um, but if you're dealing with something uh, in the future that's a bigger project, you can, when these dry, you just scrape these down. So if it's like a huge divot, then you'll want to go further across. Uh, if you have extra mud left over, you can just clean it up, clean up the area. Make it a little cleaner. I get a lot of people ask me, how much pressure do I use when mudding? So you got, it comes with practice. Um, over the years, you'll start to learn and feel in the knife how hard or how soft you should be pressing to pull the mud across. Um, when you do your first application, you wanna give a little bit of force because you need to make sure you pull the mud. Now this will also determine how thick or thin your mud is. If you add more water, obviously you get a thinner coat. If you add less water, you get a thicker coat. So that also depends on the stage that you're in of mudding. If you're doing your first coat, some people will use 90, some people will use 45, some people will use box mud mixed with, um, mixed with uh, powdered mud. Some people will use just pre-mix. Um, well, that's homeowners. <laughs> homeowners will use pre-mixed. But typically you want to mix your own mud. Now, when, once this dries, which will now take a little while because it's thicker, um, uh, you'll add, you'll sand this down and add another coat. And now on the feathered edge, so I call this like the tapered edge, um, you want to make sure you see a little bit of light ridge like that. Because if it's prominent, here, these divots will cause problems later on when you're trying to sand. I mean, I've been doing this for 17 years, so when I look at this, I think, okay, I'm gonna need probably another two or three layers at the bottom. In this section here, it's we're pretty close. So once this is all down, you'll put an even wider coat in, boom, right across like that. So I'd say maybe another one or two layers because we're trying to build that up mm -hmm. to allow a smooth transition here. And then we'll, we'll sand it a smooth coat or knock down some of the um, real thicker joint, the thicker parts where the, mud, the tape in, indented. And once we clear those out, then she'll do a really quick sand and then you'll add an even wider coat to this. Now there is another option you can do is when you put the drywall in, so let's say this was new drywall and this was old. 
You could put underneath on the frame, you could shim it out to bring the drywall up further so you have to do less mudding, which, which many people will do as well. In this case, we didn't have that option, so we had to mud this joint. Yep. So you see this ridge here, because I mixed new mud with old mud, um, well, Donna did a coat right before this video, <laughs> so it created like a little ripple effect here when it was partially drying. So when this dries fully, instead of sanding this for 25 minutes, you can just take your knife and gently scrape this down to try and reduce that ridge to it. Um, and then when you put your next coat, she'll go over this so that everything, everything connects properly. 